The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Yeah, well done everybody. <laughs> I tell you what, it's the breastfeeding that plays havoc. I mean, my nipples are agony. <laughs> yeah, just so. Anyway, the, the children really enjoy the singing, don't they? <laughs> Wait. I'm really sorry about that. It's just that I'm used to it being just us girls. I didn't mean to embarrass you. You didn't. Sorry, anyway. So, uh, you live just around the corner? Yeah. Well, some of the other mums, parents, are staying to lunch. You're very welcome to join us. Thanks, but I can't. I've got to go. No problem. So we'll see you back next week. being sick all morning. I think I deserve a little bit more than the text saying not coming. You are lucky I got out of the bathroom long enough to find my phone. Good, okay. Morning sickness. It's all your fault. My baby? I didn't throw the baby up. <laughs> it just felt like it. Well, seeing as it's just morning sickness, can I have a little smile? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry. I come bearing gifts for you and baby. Oh. Oh. That is better. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so what did you bring the baby? What? <laughs> what? Sarah. Well? Wow. Well. Do you think they're a little bit extravagant? Oh, they're, they're so cute. Do you like? Yeah, I like, yeah. Mm, maybe they're a little bit over the top, do you think so? Uh, well, um, I, I don't, if you don't. Right, I have to um, go and check my blood sugar levels. Why? Oh, look, there's a date. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. For a boy. How many parents have you met certain that they're going to have a boy because of the way that it kicked? It was conceived on a Thursday. Or the craving is for porridge and marmite and thought these people are delusional. I take it you've told no one else about the Kevin? If Cherry doesn't suspect, then she is dumber than a gnat that all other gnats laugh at. <laughs> but the others, do they? Do we have to? Oh, have you? You're showing a little. No! We have to tell them sometime. Tomorrow. That'll give me time to have laminated cards made with answers to all the idiotic questions they're going to be bombarded with. You'd think they'd be past the where the babies come from stage. I wouldn't bet on it. So he was, he was premature. Yeah, three weeks. He cries. You know, he cries all the time. Except when I take him in the car, he sleeps then. Oh, whatever works. But I'm worried there might be something wrong with him. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> what, have you found something? No, 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 no. See you first? Yeah. When did you move up here? A month after he was born. Breast or bottle? Well, first couple of months he was breast, and then when his mum went back to work, we switched him to bottle. Mm hmm. Is he on solid foods? Mm, just. But he never seems to eat enough. Well, that's when the crime really kicked off big time. It's like he's always hungry, but whenever I try and get him to eat, he just won't. Oh, I think he's okay. His weight is fine, his health is fine. Stop fretting. You're actually doing okay. There we are. Ah. Are you okay? Me? Yeah, of course. So, at the end of the day, I just want to gather everyone together. It's no big deal, but if you could just help shepherd people. Uh, of course. Well, they will want to know why. I've just got some news, that's all. Happy news. Oh. <laughs> Nurse Malone wishes to see us all at the end of the day. She has something she wishes to tell us. Really? Could you take care of those, please? Oh. I wonder if she's pregnant. Oh, out of wedlock. And on what planet is that any of your business? Marks out of ten. How do you enjoy being a stay-at-home dad? Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's like being a, an animal in a zoo. Anyway... It's not about me, it's about Sean. Are you sure he's in good nick? Babies cry. There's nothing to worry about. Daniel, welcome back. Ah. How's the healthcare in Greece? Warmer. Yeah, but they've less money than we have. Mum's got health insurance, though, so that's OK. I think I'd rather talk work than somebody else's holiday. Ah, Zara, actually, um, Heston and I have been talking, and now that Daniel's back, we can discuss it with him, but we were considering making you a prescribing lead with responsibility for prescribing budgets. I'd run the budget, not overview or supervise. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you would have to report to the other partners, but you'd have autonomy. And we would adjust your patient load. You would have extra hours at the end of the financial year, of course, March, April, May. But apart from that... I can't. Really? Why not? Because next March... I'm going to be on maternity leave. <laughs> oh! Zara! Oh, Zara! Oh! Oh, my goodness! Oh, congratulations! Congratulations, oh, dear. Thank no, you. Don't, don't. It's bad enough getting morning sickness without <laughs> crying as well. I despair of our chances of finding a properly chilled bottle at this time in the morning, but it calls for champagne. Well, no, we want to keep this under our hats, please. Uh, we haven't told anybody. We want to do it quietly. No fuss. Of course. Oh, OK. Uh, we'll cheer everybody up. Oh, joy. I'm going to be the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get on with it. OK, see you. Daniel, if I start crying again today, you need to just smack me in the face, pour water on me, do anything to stop it. Oh, Zara, when's your due date? Julia, Karen, Heston, Mrs. Temby, Elaine, Freya, Kevin, Daniel and Zara. Yeah. Yes, um, a table for two in my usual one in the corner. That's right. Yeah, that's the one with, with the light. Oh, uh, hang on. Um, uh, can I find you right back? Give me one minute. Come in. Oh, Marina, thank you so much for coming. Have a seat, please, please. <clears throat> what can I do for you? I've been thinking. Oh, good. And uh, I wanted to ask you something. Yes. Depending, of course, how you feel. Well, try me. I'd like you to have a word with a patient of mine. He came in with a baby. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. He's been rather neurotic, and I think he could do with some hand-holding. Hand-holding? Yes. Is that what you think I do? No, 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 of course not. I don't. 
Thomas Graves. Yes, I mean, the baby is absolutely fine. No temperature, nothing like that, but uh, I thought you could... Um... And you sure there's nothing else you want to ask me? The address is on the top. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Yes? Just to let you know, we're telling people about the baby today. Oh, that's great. It is, isn't it? Of course. Daniel knows that you know. Good. But you do not tell him how you know. On pain of death. In fact, on pain of a fate that would make death seem like a lovely warm bank holiday, sunning yourself at a barbie with your very best friends if you have any friends. Understood? Yes. Good answer. to sign here and here. You got a minute? No. Yeah. Don't rush. It's good news. Zara's pregnant. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations. Well, you will be getting married, of course. Don't worry, Mrs. Tenby. You'll be the first to know. Even before Zara. In fact, are you, uh, are you licensed to perform weddings? Congratulations, oh, mate. Thanks, to mate. you, to both of you. Thank you. Who thought you had it in you? Right. Uh, so it's going to be lots of sleepless nights and a puke on the shoulder from there. Yeah, yeah, that's just Sarah. <laughs> when are we going to celebrate? We will. We'll sort something. I've got to go and tell everyone. Okay. See you later. Sorry, it's just I saw the baby was asleep in the car. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, so I left him there. If something had happened... If something had happened what? What? You've never left your baby asleep in the car? No. Well, nothing happened, right? What is this, the mum police? You think because I'm a bloke I can't look after my son? No, of course not. I was just thinking about the baby. Look, I can look after him, all right? Yeah, I guess. Look, I was only trying to help. Thanks for your concern. What? Oh, that, I mean, yes, it's wonderful news. <laughs> so, when are you due? March. March the what? 24th. So, Daniel and I just, well, we wanted to let you know. You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you very much. We'll see you next month, yes? Yeah? Thank you, Dr. Clay. Hey? What's happened? Daniel and Zara having a baby. Oh, uh, yeah, you just told me. 
Um, you don't want one too, do you? No. <laughs> Not yet. I'm really happy for them. Yeah, me too. She's due on the 24th of March. That was supposed to be our special day, Jimmy, and now she's stolen it. <laughs> you can't blame Zara. I mean, she couldn't possibly it's know. It's ruined. Okay, um, uh, well, how many babies actually arrive on the due date? That isn't the point, Jimmy. He was going to be a best man, it can't be Daniel, not now that he's going to be otherwise engaged. That was supposed to be our special day, and now it's just all turned to... Hello, I'm Marina Bonaire, your health visitor. Oh, right. Hello. Is there something wrong? No, everything's fine. I just wondered how you were getting on. Fine. Why? You think I can't manage? Oh, not at all. Can I come in? <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous, isn't he? How do you do that? I mean, all he does for me is cry. A lot of babies do that. Most of the time it's perfectly normal. But sometimes it isn't. Well, very, very rarely. I just get nothing back from him, you know, and sometimes I... When was the last time you had a really good night's sleep? Hmm? Days? Weeks? Yeah, weeks, probably. My wife, well... You know, she has to work the next day. So most nights she sleeps in the spare room because he just wakes up and cries. <laughs> Young babies are such hard work. <laughs> You're telling me. And back in London, I was a fireman. I thought that was hard work. And are you enjoying it, spending so much time with the baby? Yeah. You don't sound too sure. I loved my job. And I gave it up because I thought this would be more rewarding. And it isn't. Oh, don't worry. It will be. When Sean gets a bit Look, older. I was hoping that you could do something now. Tommy, the baby's in great health. But what I think is that you need a little bit of help with your parenting <laughs> skills. Oh. Right. Yeah. Because I'm a dad and I don't know what I'm doing. No, not at all. You're doing great. None of us are born experts. Yeah, especially if you're a bloke. Well, would you be saying this to me if I was a woman? Mum or Dad, it makes no difference to me. Look, what is important is that the baby's looked after and loved. So you think there's nothing wrong with him? Like the doctor? I mean, I think something's not right. But what do I know, eh? The baby's doing great. There really is nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Tommy, um, you've got my card. Just call me, yeah? If you need any help at all. That's what I'm there for. Oh, Jimmy. I've had a look at the calendar and there is a plan B. Valentine's Day. It's a Tuesday, but I can deal with that. We're gonna have to pull our fingers out, but we can do it. So? Sometimes you make me so proud of you. Are you taking them? Nope. Seriously. Yes, Valentine's Day, whatever we need to do to make it happen. 
Mm. How sweet. Um, yes, yes. Um, I need to talk to you. Right. All right, all right, all right, Charlie, come on. Come on, shh. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. Come on. When the wind blows, the hand over, we'll look outside, huh? Yeah? Come on. Come on. See how we go? Hey? See? Come on, Shawnee, for daddy, eh? For daddy. Stop crying. See? Come on, please. Please stop crying. Please stop crying. Stop crying. There's something about it that concerns me. I can't quite put my finger on it. The baby's absolutely fine. Prevention's better than cure. Preventing what? Postnatal depression. Men don't get postnatal depression. Heston, I'm shocked. Never thought you'd be so blinkered. Oh, come on. Yes, the hormonal issues are specific to women, but isolation, exhaustion... I mean, the man's had a total lifestyle change. I want you to come with me and talk to him. Heston, I can't make the diagnosis on my own. I'm very busy. I've got a patient coming. No, you haven't. I checked. <sighs> D Cherry wants us all around later. Does my judgment mean nothing to you? Let's hope he's still in. Yeah. Now, forget he's a bloke. Think mum. He's a mum. Well, he is. Yes? I know you think that we're not listening to you. But believe me, we are and we'll continue to, but you have to listen to us as well. Marina, I... I mean, nothing prepares you for the shock of having a baby. No. Um... And there's no shame in finding the whole thing completely overwhelming. Really? Marina, I think but maybe... you have to listen to Dr Carter. Yes, yes. He's you... here to help with you and the baby. And, you know, sometimes I think it's fair to say that it takes a village to raise a child. What? Marie, can, can you just shut up for a minute and can you look after the baby for half an hour? Yes, of course. Um, where's the baby? Sleeping in the bedroom upstairs. Tommy, get your coat. This place is my local and I've never even been. So how are you coping? I could be doing better, I suppose. Right. I mean, Louise are new people in their new office. I don't know anyone. I've gone from being a fireman, you know, good mates to... It's just me and Sean all the time. I swear, if I have to sing another kid's song, I... There's moments... That think things. You know, stuff appears in my head. Dark stuff, you know? I mean, I, I don't do anything about it. I, Marina thinks you might be depressed. Now, this can be dealt with. You're not going to bite my head off. No. You just bought me a pint. She's not bad, really. <laughs> she never shuts up. Every silver lining has a cloud. Look, can I come into the surgery and sort this out? Yes, yes. I've taken up enough of your pub time talking shop. <laughs> so, you follow the football? <laughs> no. Cricket? Yeah, I like cricket. Yep. So what do you reckon about England? Right, well now we could be here all day. <laughs> Is Nurse Malone coming to make her announcement? Oh, um, everyone, 
Nurse Malone has something she wishes to tell us. Um, you know what? It's, it's, it's really, it's not that important. OK, well, since you're nearly all here, uh, Zara and I would like to take you all out for a drink this evening to celebrate our good news. <laughs> you two coming? I'm not sure that we... Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, yeah. Great. Actually, um, I've, I've got something for you. It's just a little something. Don't want you to go forgetting. <laughs> Thanks. I think I've made a terrible mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It was so rude. No, the other day, I made a mistake. What? When you were asking me out on a... On a date? Yes. What? I made a mistake. And... Dinner tonight? No. Okay. Tomorrow night? Well, there's fireworks going off. I might need a big, strong man to keep me safe. What about the old days she's gone on her holidays? Or she's dead. I wear cotton. This isn't. What is it? This, Heston, is cool. Rob Hollins reckons I'm not cut out for the police. To jack it all in. Karen, is there a problem with my blood test? No, no any problems with your husband. Where is he? Ben's on babysitting.